नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस स्कूल ऐप विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट वर्किंग ऑफ एम एल पी क्लासीफायर टू क्लासीफाई हैंड रिटर्न डिजिट्स इन एम एस डेटा सेट विल बिगिन बाई इम्पोर्टिंग बेसिक पाइथन लाइब्रेरीज लाइक पैंडाज एंड नम्पाई मैट प्लॉट लेब एंड सी बॉर्न फॉर प्लॉटिंग द एम एस डेटा सेट इज डाउनलोडेड यूजिंग फेच अंडर स्कोर ओपन एम एल लाइब्रेरी The MLP classifier is imported from a scalar dot, dot neural network module. The model training and evaluation is performed with cross validation using a bunch of model selection utilities like cross val score, train test split, grid search CV and stratified shuffle split. The performance on the test sample is obtained via accuracy score, confusion matrix and classification report. which are imported from sklearn.matrix module we create stratified shuffle split with number of splits equal to 5 and set, setting aside 20% examples as test we'll be using this particular cross validation strategy for training the model let us use the mnis data set and the mnis data set is fetched using fetch_openml api by specifying mnist underscore 784 as the dataset string. As usual, we use for 60,000 examples as training example and remaining 10,000 examples as test examples. We flatten each input image into a vector of length 784 as we have been doing throughout this course. We normalize each image by dividing the pixel value by 255 in both training and test set. After flattening, we have training examples. There are sixty thousand training examples, each represented with seven eighty four features, and there are ten thousand test examples, and each example is represented with seven eighty four features. Let us train MLP classifier with one hidden layer having one twenty eight neurons. So we instantiate MLP classifier by specifying hidden underscore layer underscore sizes. and we used one hidden layer with 128 neurons and we call the fit method by supplying the training feature matrix and training labels as input after training the mlp classifier we obtain cross val score using the cross validation which is stratified shuffle split as specified earlier and this cross validation uses five fold cross validation so we obtain accuracy of 97.61% in the cross validated regime we can predict probability on the test data using this model by calling predict underscore prob method on the on the mlp classifier object and here we have shown probability vectors for first five test examples so each vector that you see here is a probability distribution of that example over Ten different classes in hundred digit data set. We can use predict method to get class labels of test set. So now we have predictions for test set in y underscore pred variable. We use this particular value or these predictions for calculating test accuracy. We also obtain train accuracy and compare them. So we obtain almost hundred percent training accuracy. and the test accuracy is close to 98% we plot the confusion matrix for the test examples and you can see that this is almost a perfect confusion matrix with very little confusion among different classes so off diagonal entries are very small if you compare this confusion matrix with other confusion matrix that we had obtained with other classifiers in the course The classification report shows that the test accuracy, average test accuracy, is ninety-eight percent, and for most of the classes, the accuracy is greater than or equal to ninety-seven percent. The highest accuracy that was obtained is point ninety-nine or ninety-nine percent on uh, class zero and one. Here we have plotted the the test data with their with the predicted labels and we have plotted 15 examples over here and you can see that most of the examples have been correctly predicted using our mlp classifier 
Finally, we'll visualize the weights that are learned by multilayer perceptron or MLP classifier. Since you have used one hidden layer with 128 neurons, the weight matrix will have shape of 784 by 128. We visualize a single column of weight matrix as 28 cross 28 pixel image. So you can see that the shape of the weight matrix for the hidden layer is 784 by, by 128. And for W1, the shape is 784. And this is a sample matrix, the weight matrix that is learned by our MLP classifier. Finally, we look at the loss curve of the training classifier and you can see that the training loss goes down consistently as we train the model for more epochs which is a sign of well-trained classifier. So in this video, we demonstrated how MLP classifier can be used for training a model for recognizing handwritten digits from MNIST dataset. You can use MLP classifier for many such kind of tasks not only in the, in the image recognition, but it can also be used for structured datasets.